Hey guys, I'm um, just creating a real quick video. Um, if you've seen the posts and news around, uh, basically it has happened um, for the second time. Um, Pop Culture have received a sideshow slash icon shipment and they have not updated icon at all. Um, so, as you can see here, um, the Dirty Harry Clint Eastwood as Harry Callahan um, has randomly updated to in stock. Um, therefore, that pre order price, which was high um, regardless, but that 10% pre order price is gone, and now we are looking at 460. Um, thankfully, I was able to get in um, and order one a couple of days ago. Uh, but yeah, this is just crazy. Um, scrolling through. Uh, you can see a fair few pop miles and stuff, but the um, Luke Skywalker in the Snow Speeder outfit is also there. Uh, 430 is actually not too bad a price. Um, I picked mine up for 420 um, from a Hong Kong vendor um, about eight weeks ago. So 430 is a what is a pretty sweet price, um, especially if they do a Boxing Day sale. Um, you'd be looking at a really good deal for him. Um, and we have the War Machine. Um, now the Asmos Nazgul is also in stock, uh, as is the Iron Man Mark III. Now the interesting thing is, is when I rang Pop Culture up this morning uh, to pay for the Nazgul, um, it was kind of hinted that the batch is much larger than what is being seen on the actual um, website. Uh, so basically, we've been told to expect a couple of the Mandalorian figures, um, possibly the Blurg, Echo from Bad Batch, um, and maybe a couple of others. Uh, but nothing's really been confirmed at the moment, other than the 3-0 Jura Mamant, uh, which is like a really random release, um, but it's apparently there. Um, so yeah, uh, I guess just keep an eye out on pop culture and see if anything updates.